I needed a destroyed brick wall for a scene I've been working on and decided to just make my own using Blender's geometry nodes. I started by using a trick I learned from a Jerry Carlino tutorial where you use a grid plane and convert each vertex and face to a point, then instance bricks on top of that to create a checkerboard pattern. I extruded out a curved line for that initial plane so I could easily resample it to match the height and width of a standard brick plus a little space for the mortar. To make things easier, I stored all the brick dimensions inside a single group so I could reuse that throughout the graph but only have to update it in one place. I also wanted an extra layer of bricks so I extruded my initial plane backwards for deleting the sides and then slightly offsetting the height. For the destruction, I applied the same method as I did with my destroyed building project. So using a geometry proximity node targeting a single point to delete geometry. By adding an empty object, I can then use its location and scale outputs to adjust the destruction directly in the viewport. And to paint in the effect, I add a new point each frame using a simulation zone. I really wanted to keep everything procedural, so I created the brick object from an extruded plane, then used the selection outputs to extrude, scale, and position specific faces. Once the bricks are instanced, I used a noise texture to displace their position and rotation slightly, just to make the layout a bit more flawed and irregular. For the mortar, I added a separate set of faces larger than the bricks, inset them, then extruded the outer faces before joining them back in the graph and using another noise texture to add some subtle variation. As always, I'm heavily using stored attributes to create masks for things like the randomness, gradient, and pointiness that I can use in the shader editor to make a completely procedural material. 